I just wanted to take a few moments and respond to Mr. Bowman Lusambo's recent interview on the internet. Let me begin by saying I honestly believe that Mr. Bowman Lusambo is dumber than a box of hammers. I know that may sound offensive to some of you, but that's just the hardcore truth. And the people of Kabushi have done themselves a tremendous disservice by electing this man as their representative. I mean, he sits on this interview and he begins to downplay the significance of one million votes. Now, <laughs> one million votes by any account is a huge number. One million or 1,000,000 ,000 is the natural number that follows 999,999. It also precedes the number 1 million and 1. In other words, it comes before 1 million and 1. This number here is huge. It's significant. But Bowman says it's nothing. He says on there, he says, oh no, it's nothing. This is just, what is 1 million votes? What is it? It's nothing. <laughs> no, Bowman, it's significant. For years, remember the Patriotic Front, for years they used to sing on the mountaintop about HH and say, this man is a perpetual loser. How many elections has he lost? They constantly used to sing this. They called him a loser. They called him a tribalist. They, try, they tried to stick the tag of tribalism on him. But that effort landed with a hollow thud. The man isn't tribalistic. They tried to attack his vast wealth and, and they said, well, how did he become so wealthy? That didn't stick. That also landed with a hollow thud. And here it is, the Zambian people in 2021 in the general elections decided to place in office the very man, the very man that the Patriotic Front disdained the very man that the Patriotic Front called a perpetual loser, the very same man they discarded and they said that he was insignificant, the same man has now become president and the cornerstone. <laughs> and and Bowman, Bowman says one million is nothing. Guys, first of all, let's be clear. Zambia has a population of about 18.3 million people. In this last election, only 7 million people registered to vote. A little over 7 million. I think it was 7,023,000 some, some odd plus. Okay, Out of that 7 million, many of them, many people didn't vote. Some were sick. Some died. So here it is. You had a population, a, a, a population's political future being decided by a paltry 7 million. But out of that 7 million registered voters, 2.8 million of them said, this is the direction we want to go. This is, this is the trajectory we want to take. We no longer want to wallow in the cesspool of the patriotic front. And here it is, Bowman is trying to gaslight the people of Zambia. Do you know what it means to gaslight? To gaslight means, let's say you're in a relationship and a woman begins to complain and, and, and gaslighting her means you, you try to convince her that what she's seeing, she's not seeing. You try to convince her that what she's hearing, she's not hearing. You try to downplay the significance of her complaint. Bauman is trying to gaslight the people of Zambia, but the people of Zambia said no. You're not going to gaslight us. But the part that really got me rolling, and sometimes you have to, to laugh to keep from crying. There's a portion in the interview where Bowman talks about his conversation with God. He's praying to God, God the Father, God the Omniscient, God the, the Omnipresent. And he says to God, Bowman says to God, God, honestly, really, are you going to give us the UPND? And God turns to Bowman and says, Bowman, take it easy. Sometimes in life, you got to give people what they want. So like anybody, and according to Bowman, God decides in his vaunted wisdom and his vaunted knowledge, he decides to, to give the people what they want. God, Bowman, don't use God's name in vain. Negro, please.
<laughs> Boom. <laughs>